Hi everyone, it's Mark from Brave Auto International Japan. It's a Thursday afternoon. I'm at USS Nagoya checking some cars for some customers that are coming up for auction tomorrow. Uh, this vehicle here is not on my list to check. It's actually a vehicle I've just walked past. Okay, um, And when I walked past it, I thought first, obviously it's colour changed. Two, it's got big wheels on it. Okay. Got a big exhaust sticking out the back, two of them. And it's got a roll cage. Camber of the wheels is uh, off a bit. And uh, when I sort of went past, I could sort of see down in there, there's one huge intercooler. Okay. Anyway, this is a 1996 BMW Z3 manual. And it's um, been converted, you could say. Anyway, I'll start her up um, because it's not just a uh, big intercooler it's got in it. It's got something else. Which I've heard about these being done, but I've never seen one being done. And what's that famous sound? It's a rotary. And as everyone knows me, knows I love my rotaries. So. Um, the car's got a 13B in it with an aftermarket turbo, single turbo. Okay, I'm still not interested in the thing though, <laughs> but anyway. Um, big brakes on it, Brembo's. You obviously got aftermarket uh, through here, bits and pieces. It's been colour changed to a brown, kind of metallic-y colour. You've got Brembo's at the back there as well. Okay, you got a nice looking uh, exhaust there on it, aftermarket rear bumper. Look at here. Okay, the roof's um, got a rather a tear in it, so you can either have a look through here or a look in this way. Okay, it's got aftermarket uh, bucket seats in it, which are bright, low max, your roll cage. Okay. And if we just go around the other side, it's actually got an aftermarket steering wheel and an aftermarket cluster, dash cluster, which is a diffy one. Okay, so we'll have a look in the engine bay. Obviously someone's painted it orange, because they thought orange looked good. Big air intake there for the turbo. Okay, like a catch tank. Huge, huge uh, intercooler. Jeez, it's thick. It might not be, it's quite wide as well, but it's actually really thick. You now look how thick that is, you know. let it warm up a little bit before I give it a couple of bursts. It's got aftermarket coilovers with adjustable top plates. Obviously the motor's not ported. It's not doing the uh, famous rat 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 noise, which I love. Probably be a quite a good track car for someone. That's about it though. It's obviously got the aftermarket bonnet on it. Ribs, eh? mm, that was nice. Okay, I'll we'll drop the bonnet down and I'll just go around it once more. Like I say, I'm not looking at this for anyone or even myself, it's just something that caught me eye. Obviously they've put the, uh, put the rad under there. Oh, they've got the radi radiator. I don't know if you're going to see this. Radiator's mounted down the bottom there, flat. Okay, and obviously the fan's blowing down. So she's had a bit of money spent on it.
know, it's not that, it's not, obviously like I said, it's not my cup of tea, but um, someone wanted a track car, it's probably good for that. Got to love the rotary sound. Okay, that's Mark from Brave Auto International in Japan, and that's, oh, there's the auction sheets, grade 3.5, 7,000 Ks, but it's Christian because it's been changed, and loads of uh, stuff about the thing. Okay, that's lot number 20767. So it'll be interesting to see what it sells for. You never know, I might just throw a silly bit on it just to see. I'm sure the wheels and the brakes and the motor are worth something out of it. Okay, see you later, guys.